Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And the name of this video is, I don't wanna be independent. You can keep that, beep. <laughs> and the purpose of this video is to talk to the younger version of me. The younger version of me who might be trying to finish college and focus on her career and try to climb the corporate ladder, try to take care of her family maybe, try to take care of herself, try to prove herself and her strength. I'm speaking to her from experience and wisdom and I'm hopeful that she would give ear to what I am saying. I feel like in hindsight, nobody never told me in the physical reality to stop and put your relationships first. Your relationships with your husband. They said, finish school, stay focused, don't worry about no, no boys, or don't worry about no men. That's what I was told. And in hindsight, I feel like that was some foolish advice. I have no regrets because I know that everything is perfectly orchestrated by source energy for me to go through these things and be in a better position to help others and to evolve to my higher self because I'm on a journey too. However, if I had a daughter, <laughs> if I had a daughter, I would tell her to make sure that she stays girly, stays feminine, stay submissive, stay vulnerable, but just guard your heart and just try not to give it to any and everybody. Keep your legs closed. You, know, you might need a little heart and break to better understand this. But I would tell her to stay focused on be, being these things in order for her to build a legacy and an empire. I would tell her that, see that fairy tale bull crap on Lifetime, baby? It don't exist. Look at marriage, look at relationships as if you're building an empire. You don't want to build an empire, which is in your body. So pay attention to character, you know? Pay attention to their drive. Do they have any type of drive? What do they want out of life? Because you already know what you want. Do they complement where you want to go? Don't get so caught up into that college, that career stuff. Because you have a cover and you have a husband. And I'm saying that because it's really, really cool. And I look at myself as an independent, well, used to be independent woman. And I'm not going to share what I mean about independence because I feel like it's could come off as a braggadocious type thing but and it is masculine energy but I will say that <laughs> I feel like life forced me to get into that role for an appointed time in my life and I learned a lot in that role but what I will say to the younger version of me that might be listening to this video is don't miss this here part. The fact that two is always better than one. I don't care if it's a divorce that you've been through like myself. I don't care if it's a um, bad relationship or your husband died and, or, um, or maybe you just don't have that divine feminine look about yourself and you have low self-esteem so you're using the fact that um you want to be independent 
to cover up the fact that you ain't never did no work. Maybe you're obese and maybe nobody's checking you out. Maybe in your head you you think you look good and you really not. It goes to anybody with any type of excuse that don't have no man and they talking about they independent. I'm talking to you. Whatever your excuse is, boo. You too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I want to share this with you. The part that nobody I see on YouTube talk about with this independent crap. This is the part right here. So there was was a young lady who got a divorce. She got a divorce and she had children. And so now because she's so-called independent, she's exuding masculine energy. There's things around her place that needs to be fixed that she now has to fix or find someone to do that a partner could have helped her with. And just simple things that would happen around the home, even if like some type of flood or whatever would happen where another outside person would have to come over, she now not does not have a covering. And so like insurance adjusters or mechanics, especially mechanics or something like that, um, they see a single woman without a covering and a man being a man, if he's this type of man, he will try to mess over. Though they have those in the physical reality that, that really respect women like that and really look out for them, they are the others who gonna have that yin or that yang energy that will try to, you know, like mess over her. And because she's so fixed on trying to climb the corporate ladder, now she is exuding masculine energy and she's spending her life and her time working working really really hard to obtain the lifestyle that she wants but she has to put in this work she has to put in this work and it has to be a little bit harder because she only has one income she only has one income and so she's so drained because she has to now be the provider she has to now be the mother the gardener the doctor the therapist self-care the student the daughter the friend so she's playing all of these roles and she really doesn't have time to go out on something called a date she's playing all of these roles and she's really not meeting new people because she's on something called a schedule and being that she's on this schedule she's actually meeting the same people every day in the physical reality the ones that are driving to work when she's driving to work <laughs> the ones that are in the carpool line when she's in the carpool line the ones that work with her the ones that she see after work the ones that she see on her way home <laughs> and the ones that maybe live on her street Meanwhile, there's a universe full of other people that she will never see because she does nothing different. She's so focused on her career that she doesn't realize that she's in the midst of a program. A program that's not yielding to her the man that she's desiring. Even if he were to pass her in the hallway, she would be so fixed on getting the job done or her to-do list that she wouldn't even see him walking by. I still, I know so much about the lifestyle of this independent woman because I once was her. I once was her in the physical reality And y'all can have that. Because in my journey, what I've learned is that, like I said too, is it's, it's greater than one. But not only that, when there's only one, when you are that independent one, you are dog tired. You're dog tired because you are doing and doing and doing 
and working and working and working. I often would say, man, I don't know what it feels like to have a sick day. Because I was never given that opportunity to be sick. I still had to keep on going. And I did. I did to a point where I decided intentionally that I'm not doing it no more. I'm not doing it no more. I'm just going to be in my divine feminine. And when I created that paradigm shift within my physical reality, the universe made way and brought to me the relationships that I needed to stay in balance. But you got to make the conscious shift of knowing what you want and knowing what you don't want and be willing to do the work to be in alignment with, with what it is that you do want. To be open to what it is that you do want. On purpose. On purpose. So, I want to share this one thing with you before I go. You all know about me, and this is a, a great example in pertaining to this video. You know that I said um, I don't want a food drop. There's so many things in my physical reality. If I say it, it is done. <laughs> I get what I want, some kind of way. It happens. Little old me. Because I believe in creating my reality through my thoughts and getting in alignment with that which I want. And so, I'm on this journey. I'm like, I want to do this food truck and I know that I can do it. I know that I can do it. But I, pivotal moment came when, when I said to myself, but no. You've done the career. You've done the college. Now, if you do this food truck, you're going to have to travel to do this. You're going to have to worry about proteins. You're going to have to worry about build outs. You're going to have to worry about employees. You're going to have to worry about getting the right truck. You're going to have to worry about da 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 da. And the list goes on and on and on. And years going to be the past. So it's almost like you're about to build another career here. When are you going to take time? and put a relationship first. Because you could get so busy into this career that five more years have passed and you didn't put the relationship first. And I thought about that. And that's really the only reason why I don't have my food drug today. Because on purpose, I'm on a journey too. And I am waiting. But I'm doing this on purpose because, you know, in the physical reality, you could get so fixed on getting everything it is that you want or getting all the way to the top. You know, just like a lot of powerful people, they get all the way to the top and they realize, but wait, wait, something's missing. Because you see, you could have everything in the physical reality, but still feel inside that you have nothing. And I know where I'm going in my journey, and I don't feel the urgency to have to get to the top and miss out on the relationships. Because when, 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 when the physical body is no more, I don't want to lie on my deathbed, and I encourage you not to want to lie on yours and live life with re regrets, you know? We could pull out degrees and to pull out all these accomplishments and but I'm willing to bet on that day when if we were to know that we're about to time out in the physical reality that we won't say oh I'm glad I had the food truck I'm glad I did da 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 I'm glad I went to this university no I'm willing to bet that we're gonna be saying things like Tell so-and-so that I love them. Tell so-and-so thank you for spending the physical reality with me.
And on that day, I choose not to have a regret of not building a relationship, an empire with someone instead of all alone by myself. No matter how introverted I am, I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. And I encourage you to get to that place where you just don't want to. And stop listening to people who maybe didn't get their degree, who didn't do something in their life and they want to live their life through you. Like you got to be the one that gets the family, the, the degree. No, you don't. You got to be the one that lives life to make you happy. An abundant life. That's all that really matters, that you live your life in abundance. And the abundance is going to be how you look at abundance, what it is for you. But I tell you, there's so much abundance in relationships. There's so much abundance and thrills and chills and expansion that you can get from relationships. Relationships are so important. The most important one being that of you with your higher self. But still the others are abundant because they can bring children into the world. They can bring lovers and prosperity and more happiness into your world. So for those of you who want to be independent, go, do it, do it. It's your journey, go for it. But I'm hopeful that one day within your journey, you realize, wait, I don't have a covering. Wait, why did I make man if I'm going to choose to do this by myself? Wait, if there was another one right here, I would have more. Wait, I just want to open up my heart to somebody. Whatever it is that you think about is your choice, but this video, once again, was from my heart to yours. Cause I don't want to be independent no more. Y'all can keep that shit. <laughs> be blessed. Oh